today we're going to jump into an energy update for November 2023. There is so much going on in the world and the energies are moving so fast right now. Paradigms are crumbling. People are freaking out. So what's going on and how can we best direct our energy so we can get through this as unscathed as possible? That is the goal. So stick with us. We have two main November themes that we're going to talk about to help you navigate the current state of the energetic field. Well, you were talking, I'm over here singing in my head, what's going on? Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. Listen, the energies for November are crazy, first of all. My favorite line, it's like a dumpster fire. Yet, we have control over it. So, let's check ourselves. Let's let's make sure that we're on the right vibration every step of the way so that things don't get so damn crazy while you're doing what you need to do. And the most important part of all this stuff is respect. That is the key word here. We need to respect ourselves. We need to respect other people. We need to, and even if they have difference in opinion, that's okay. That's okay. Agree to disagree. But respect is the number one vibration that's going to work here. Absolutely, because it is totally your choice, whether you're the fire person coming in to put the fire out, if you're the person throwing the open flame onto the dumpster, or if you're the person that's putting more fuel into the dumpster to make sure it keeps going. When we get into this vibration where we see some sort of injustice or the latest narrative is playing out on the news or on social media, and we want to get involved and we want to pick a side and we decide we need to react, we need to do something and then we become our little keyboard warriors or speaking up or marching with our signs or you know basically going in and fighting fighting a low vibration with a low vibration now Mm -hmm. we're not saying all fighting is bad let me just preface with that if you need to defend yourself or somebody obviously you fight but in general, we, we're all, we've been in this reactionary type of state. Like we've been trained into, here's the latest crisis, react, everybody go. I like to call it, this is the theme number two, respect was one. Theme two is diversion equals division. Mm. This is the program that's going on right now, this diversive program. And we're all picking it up real easy. Like, oh, here's the latest thing. What's my side? I'm going to learn just enough until I have an opinion and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to toot that horn. Please, please, please check yourself. It's okay to have an opinion. It's okay to believe something. It's okay to feel disgusted and outraged and sad and and helpless. It's okay having all those things process through you as you see these new things. They're pinging that inside of you for a reason. They're telling you that the vibration is off. Automatically, again, we've been trained to go in and activate and get agitated and fight again, like I said, and that is not the vibration you want to be in. So how can you use that as a trigger to like, something's off, I need to pull back into myself and fix the energy there first. Right. I mean, deploying respect is, is going to be the skill set here. Um, respect for yourself. I, I can't emphasize that enough. Respect for yourself because that's where it all begins. Once you can do that, then you can um, exercise that out into the world. In Because, you, like you said, you're going to come across people that, you know, don't have the same opinion as you do and don't believe the same thing that you do and that's okay because that's what makes us who we are be open to hear the difference in opinion you know because you don't have to take it in you just you know listen to it if it resonates awesome if it doesn't that's okay too so that i mean this is so simple it's ridiculous. We complicate it completely. <laughs> you know, because we want to be right. But the reality is we're all individuals. We're going to have our own thing. We're going to have our own beliefs, our own whatever. And we need to be able to do it respectfully, honoring everything around us. 
I mean, I think that's the that's the biggest thing. Right. And check yourself if you're deep into your opinions. Is this coming from an ego place or is it coming from a truly you want everybody to be OK? So you should do what I'm saying because I really care about you all. I mean, we're, we're not just some people totally go the egoic path. Some people are totally like, I just need to help and support and fix the world. And I, both are valid. And usually it's somewhere in between. It's a mixture of both. So if you can really pull back, take a breath, recenter, what vibration am I sitting in? And then how am I proceeding from there? I mean, are you really creating space to heal what you've seen and what you've taken in that's hurting your spirit? And I, I don't mean that you have to like sit there and contemplate, I don't know, the, the latest war or the latest banking crisis or, you know, pick your poison of crisis. Are you looking at what that's triggering within you? Because this is not just like what's happening right now. This is triggering back generation after generation. This is historical cycles that we've been in that's traumatized and injured across bloodlines, across timelines. This is all coming to a head it feels like in a different way to a lot of us because at this time it's 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 high time to shift it and the old patterns need to start to fall away now the people that don't want it to shift because they've been in a place of power they don't want to lose that they're going to keep feeding those programs out and creating those diversions and and watching you like you know hey look at this now oh my god and then they're doing this over here and then you start to you know you you get desensitized after you see something for a while because you've already formed your opinion. And then you look, start looking over here and they're like, oh no, look at this one. And you're like, oh yeah, oh my God, that. Okay, let's talk about that now. It's just keeping you away from yourself. That's all it's doing. The division is getting us away from that unity consciousness. That's the bottom line of it. So it's not your opinion is better than anybody else's. Maybe on the certain thing, it might be. Who knows? You don't know. The more you can accept that you don't understand all the motives of why everything that's going on is going on. You have a very limited scope of what you're getting from your friend, whatever news station you happen to listen to or social media. It's very limited. You don't really know. The only thing you know is your frequency and your vibe. So if something out here is vibing and it's not feeling good, something in here is not feeling good. How can I focus back on that and keep myself in the best possible locked in place to whatever my true essence is? Not my true opinion at this moment, not my true ego self over here, not my fixer people pleaser person over here, not my I'm a warrior battle cry. I'm going to fight through this because I'm going to fight for what I think is right. None of those things. We're dropping all of the fixers, the warriors, the, all these different roles that we play. And we're coming back into who we are in ourself, which is truly different. We all have our own essence. We're all a piece of this giant tapestry of what is known as unity. So please, please, please stop reacting and trying to beat into everybody to fall into the same belief and the same opinion and the same actions. We're not the same. We're not built the same. We're not here to do the same thing. We're all meant to be different threads in this big tapestry. So take care of your own. Mm -hmm. I think I think that what you're trying to say is that, you know, check your motivation. What's motivating you to do what you're doing? What's motivating you to feel the way you're feeling? And if the the vibration feels lower than it should be, check it. You know, like really understand why it's there. The we want to be functioning from a very high vibration. So notice if your energy is going out. I mean, your heart going out in love or whatever, that's great. If you're constantly reacting in, in heartbreak or anger, check your vibe again. You don't want that. That's not what you want to be sending out. You don't want to be throwing fuel on the pr proverbial dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. So taking yourself out of that role and turning inside once again, because we can all agree. We all want to feel love and be love. We all want to be accepted and accept. We all want to feel at peace. Like that's the unity here. That's why we're all here to expand and evolve and grow our souls towards this unity piece. So anything that's taking you away from that unity piece, away from that inner peace within yourself is the wrong direction. Yeah. Or is it, is it there, all these things there? I mean, maybe they're there to teach you 
they are actually they're all opportunities to recenter back into yourself i want to give you a quick message before we get back to this episode unlock the secrets of your soul for free with soul notes say goodbye to feeling stuck and hello to the validation of your alignment these weekly prompts are filled with reminders gentle nudges and sometimes a kick in the ass all with love from your soul don't just take our word for it try soul notes for yourself and see the difference it can make in your life trust us your soul and you will thank you just go to soulnote.org that's s-o-u-l-n-o-t-e dot o-r-g now back to our podcast that's the thing is that everything like you said that's going on it is a lesson somewhere in there that there's something or it's triggering um, an awareness to something that requires some sort of healing so that you can be in the higher vibration. I mean, when we're happy and we're this and we're that and everything is all cool and whatever, we don't tend to grow. I'm not sure why <laughs> we don't tend to grow, but when the shit's hitting the fan, oh my God. We're like on point as far as trying to learn what the hell is going on by asking ourselves one question, why, (laughs) you know, and getting really super curious as to why those, those energies are happening. You know, you feel like your life is, is turning inside out, but with the energies for November, they're so convoluted. Mm -hmm that we need to be aware of our own shit first so that we don't get mixed up in it so that we don't get confused and turned around and not be able to get out of it. Right. So, and what you just said about, you know, we all of a sudden get super sparked up, ready to take action. We're super curious. We're ready to learn everything that's going on about whatever situation has grabbed our attention. This is the exact energy you need to put on yourself. Like, how can I learn everything there is to know about myself, first of all? Talking to myself, understanding myself, why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, what's the root causes of everything, how my energy flows, how I grow the best. I want to know all about that. And I want to know all the different ways that that can happen. And I want to try it out because I want to progress. I mean, this stuff is triggering us into action, but it's really showing us where we're missing out on our actions. We're taking a lot of inaction on our own inner selves. And if you're a spiritual person that's been doing a lot of work, I mean, that's probably a lot of us actually that are listening to this and you've done a lot of inner work. See if you're still reacting a lot to that outside stuff because that's telling you you need to shift a little bit. Like maybe that you've done all the shadow work and you've done all these things, but it's still coming from a broken place of what can I fix and what can I fix and what can I do? Instead of we are whole, we're all whole. I'm picturing myself in wholeness. I'm picturing the world in wholeness. Like, are you approaching everything from that stereotypical spiritual self-help BS, basically, that's shoved down our throat of like, what's wrong? I've got the fix for you. Shifting out of that and shifting back into oneness, back into wholeness. That is the key. And that is November right now. Mm -hmm. So if you found value in this, um, like, subscribe, let us know how you're feeling in the comments below with what's going on in November and how the energies are playing out. Um, We coach a lot of people and they're always coming to us with, you know, what is going on? It just feels like everything is just blowing up. And um, and we tap in and we tap in together. And that's where we come up with what these global consciousness type of energies are going on to help bring more ease to all of us. And we can work together to proceed from a place of grace instead of a place of reactivity. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't. I'm not saying that the world itself is not complicated. I'm just saying that your process is not complicated. No, we've Allow made it, it complicated and that's why the world is mirroring that exactly. right now. Exactly. So simplify it down in here to just being peace and being love, and cleaning up your shit, housekeeping. And then the outside can start shifting into that way. Absolutely. All right, that's November. Be kind. Peace. Peace.